Hey everybody, welcome. Welcome to another video from Lidixin.com. In this video, we are going to install Anaconda, um, which is a Python distribution, which is uh, uh, used for scientific purposes, um, in, in data science purposes. Uh, it is a Python distribution and we're going to uh, install it and we're going to show you that how can you use it okay so first of all uh, open up your favorite browser and then write here anaconda uh, dot com okay so go to their website and here uh, you can see that this is their main page and uh, here you need to go to this this button download uh, click on it and now uh, you can see here that it gives you like uh, two versions uh, one is python 3.7 version the other one is python 2.7 version i will download this one but here you can see mac os is selected so if we we'll download it it would download the files for mac but obviously we want to do it for linux so we will uh, click linux we will select linux and then we would download uh, python 3.7 version uh, so this is the file dot uh, sh file that we need to download. So we will hit OK, and now we can see that it has started downloading it. So I will wait when it the download will complete. We'll move forward. All right. So once you have downloaded it, uh, you can see that we have downloaded it. And if we go to our folder here, we have uh, our Anaconda three. Uh, dot sh file okay so now uh, in order to install it what what you can do that you can go to the anaconda documentation and click on installation and then select the installation on linux okay so here you can see that we have several steps following which you can uh, install anaconda so what we're gonna do uh, that this is the optional step to check shm uh, checksum so we will skip it okay uh, we'll go to the third step directly and from here what we are going to do that we are going to uh, copy this to open up our terminal and we are going to paste the command right here but here you can see that the file name that we have downloaded I guess it differs from that right so it says uh, 5.3.0 and it says 2018.12. Uh, so let's try to like uh, change it. Let's say that uh, we copy this file name. Okay. Um, and what we are going to do here that we're going to paste the file name right here separately. Um, and now we're going to hit enter. So now you can see that the installation has uh, started. So make sure that the file name or file names are actually uh, same right here from right here when you're picking up or copying the command. Uh, make sure that the file name is uh, same. All right. So now you can see that the installation of Anaconda has started. So you need to press enter. When we press enter, you can see that there are there is a license. And press enter and you could you know read it uh, read all of that and uh, okay uh, you know make sure that you press enter carefully because uh, when you're gonna end this um, you know agreement uh, at the end of this agreement you have to perform some tasks as well so press enter very carefully uh, because if you skip some step then you have to do it manually okay so we hit enter enter so i'm gonna carefully uh, hit enter and uh, you know uh, until the agreement ends so once you have got here at the end of this agreement you would see that do you accept the license terms so you've got to write yes or no so i write yes here and you can see uh, anaconda 3 will now be installed so this is the path where the anaconda um, is going to be installed so i do not want to change it but if you want to change it then what you need to do uh, that you can ab abort uh, uh, you, you can abort the installation by pressing ctrl c but if you want to change the location you just uh, can specify any sort of location where you want to install it here but i want to keep it that way so i would just hit enter 
which will actually confirm this location right here which i want okay this one all right so i will hit enter and you can see that it has actually uh, started to install the python and a python anaconda right on that location which i have specified i mean which which was there okay so once you've got here it would ask you do you wish the installer to initialize anaconda 3 so you can press yes and when you would hit, hit enter it would say thank you for installing uh, anaconda 3 so now it would say uh, do you wish to proceed with the installation of microsoft visual code um if you want to uh, proceed then say uh, yes it would start to download it but currently i would do no and now you can see that anaconda 3 has been installed successfully on our ubuntu 18.04 lts all right so we ha we have been here right so the 10th command the 10th step uh, that we've got to do we have done nine steps um the 10th step we we want to do is that close and open your terminal window for the installation to take effect or you can enter the command so um we can uh, restart our terminal or we can simply add this command uh, so that it reload the uh, anaconda the bash rc file uh, into our terminal okay so we paste it we hit enter uh, let me just remove the dot okay so now you can see that it has uh, restarted so now our anaconda 3 is ready so the next step that we could do is that we could uh, type in this command um, so what it is going to do, do that uh, it it would open the navigator okay so if that navigator opens up by uh, copying and writing down this command then it means that the anaconda has been installed successfully so what we're going to do we're going to paste this anaconda hyphen navigator okay we hit enter and hopefully it would open up um the navigator for us okay so we we, we shall wait there you go so you can see that we have got it the uh, anaconda navigator um it has opened up so right here you can see that we have got Jupyter Lab, we have got Jupyter Notebook, uh, we have got Qt Console, uh, we have got Spider, uh, we have got Orange 3, VS Code, R Studio, etc. Right? So, the next step that we are going to do is uh, let's try to uh, launch. If you want to launch the Jupyter Notebook, you can do that by uh, just writing down here um but we're gonna do that via terminal so we press ctrl alt t uh, we open up our terminal and here um before doing anything what we can do that we can go, uh, get the information of the version of anaconda uh by you know uh writing here conda info and here you can see that it has uh given us the version of anaconda that we are currently running on our system uh, it gives us all the channel URLs, the package caches, and much more. Okay. Um, the next important command uh, that you can use is the corner list command. Uh, when you would write here corner list, it would actually list pretty much everything uh, available within the um, within Anaconda. Okay. So uh, you can see here uh, all the packages. It has list down all of them along with the versions okay so this is the list of all the packages uh, and the next thing that we could do is that we could open up the jupyter notebook we could uh, uh, launch it directly from here or we could launch it from our terminal uh, so how do we do that we write here uh, jupyter notebook so when we hit enter it would actually run the jupyter server and it would uh, open it up on our browser okay so let me close all the other windows so right here you can create any folder uh, that you want uh, so let's say if i want to create any folder inside of uh, desktop let's say 
So here, um, if I go to new and I write here folder, um, and if I check this, I can rename it as well. Uh, so I would rename it as let's say uh, Python code, all right? So once we have created the Python code folder, what we are gonna do that we are going to go inside of that. Um, and in here, we are going to click on new and Python 3. So this is the Python 3 file that it is going to create. So whatever we're gonna write here, it could run it. Okay, so it's a kind of an IDE. Uh, so what we will do here, uh, let's say if we write here 100 plus 100, uh, if we hit enter, it would take us to the next line. But if we press shift enter, it would execute the command, whatever we would give, okay? So in the similar fashion, if we write here A is equal to, let's say three, uh, I hit enter, I go to the next line. And if I write here A static four, uh, and if I press enter, I go to the next line. But if I press shift enter, it gives me the output. Okay, so that's how you can use Jupyter. Um, and that's how you install uh, Python Anaconda. I hope you have enjoyed it. I, you have enjoyed the video. Um, there is another uh, sort of uh, thing inside the Anaconda Navigator, which is uh, known as Spider. Also launch it from here. Um, or you can actually, um, you know, write the command to um, open it up. So if you want to open it up from the terminal here, you can see we have the uh, server running uh, for, uh, uh, you know, Jupyter Notebook. So we press Control C. It says uh, you want to shut down this notebook server, press Y, and um, you would see that it would hopefully. Yes, why? Yes, it has shut it down. So now what you're gonna do if you want to open up the um, spider, uh, so you're going to write here spider and simply hit enter and hopefully it would uh, open that up as well. See, so in the similar way, you can uh, use um, Anaconda Navigator. Okay, so this is uh, the spider IDE. Here you can write the code. Uh, you can run uh, individual commands uh, in, in a single line as well. So for example, if you write here three plus three, and if you select all of this, if you press shift enter, you can see that you have the output right here. Okay, you have done that. So now what you're gonna do is that uh, you can run, uh, you know, a, a lot of lines as well. So, for example, if I am going to write here a print statement, let's say I write here print, and then inside of that I write hello world. And if I want to run it, uh, let's let me copy all of that, like, and just paste it uh, three or four times here. And if I want to run all of that instead of, you know. Uh, I can select each line and I can run it separately by pressing control, uh, sorry, shift plus enter. So if I press shift plus enter, it is going to run this line, individual line. And if I press this run button here, it executes all four lines. And here we have, um, we have our output. Okay. So if you want to save this file, uh, you can see that it is, it is being saved right here. Uh, in this folder, um, you can also save as, uh, you can save it at the place of your own choice, but most probably it is going to pick up from this path and it, it has to run it. So I would recommend you to, you know, uh, keep the file at that place. Okay. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. You have learned something new. In today's video, we have learned how to install Anaconda and how we can uh, use it. Uh, we have used Jupyter Notebook and we have used Spider as well. For written articles, please visit our website linuxin.com and I will see you in the next video.